What is up? What is up, guys? I know it's been a week since uh, I've updated anything here on the YouTube channel. Um, everything's fine uh, with all of us here. Didn't want anybody to think anything like that. We've we've just had a very, very, very uh, busy week this past week since uh, the snow um, at the beginning of this past week to today. Um, uh, I had to finish up with uh, coaching the swim team this past week. We finished that um, Friday night. And uh, then in addition to that, I hosted a pageant at the school that's always a fun evening for everybody involved. Um, and just getting everything ready for that and wrapping up the swim season, it just made for some long days and uh, some very tired family members. Um, so we've kind of just taken the weekend to relax, recuperate, not do a whole lot. Uh, Y'all may hear the boys screaming in the background in this video, or I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Jess is handling bath time with them right now, and they always go crazy at bath time and uh, time for them to settle down and read. Um, but she's doing that awesomely, and God bless her and love her for that so that I could update everything for you guys. Um, Cause even though this past week was busy, we've got a couple busy weeks ahead. So even though I finished swim, I do have a spring sport uh, coming up in about two weeks. Um, Cheddar's decided to join us. Uh, and so I'm about to have two weeks off of extracurricular activities, which will be nice. Probably won't know what to do with myself for a little bit. Um, <laughs> let me move him. But uh, it'll be nice. Uh, we we have a loaded couple weeks with me not having things as far as doctor's appointments, stuff like that, um, that just need to be taken care of uh, that we've kind of put off. Um, and so that's one of the things I'll kind of be talking to you about um, with everything else I want to go over tonight is just what, what we've got coming up and what we've got going on. Um, the main thing that's kind of been laid on my heart um, that I've, I've known for a few days when I got the time that I wanted to come on here and talk about um, is something that just alarms started going off in my head um, as I was reading about it. Um, I've currently been reading The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's completely changed my perspective on a lot of different things and the way that I look at life and um, more than anything else, the way that I pray. Um, it's really, really caused me to reshape and change um, how I pray and just what I pray for um, on a daily basis and how I've looked at that my whole life up to today um, and what I've done to change it. But in reading that, uh, there was something that I came across that I haven't thought about biblically in years. Um, it's a passage of the Bible that I haven't read in a while, um, and it's it's something that just, for whatever reason, it's something that hasn't crossed my mind in quite some time, and that's the story, <laughs> that's the story of Jericho, um, and no, I'm not talking about the incredible, world-famous, greatest of all time professional wrestlers, um, but the town of Jericho and what took place there um, in the book of Joshua. Uh, and for those of you that aren't familiar or need a little refresher of what takes place there, um, Jericho is the first city that the Israelites attack under Joshua's command after crossing over the Jordan River. And they come upon Jericho which has these mighty stronghold walls that just seem impenetrable. You know, they come upon the city and they, they just don't know how they're going to get in. But God tells them that what they need to do is for a week, for six consecutive days, they need to get up and they need to walk around the city. They don't need to do anything else. They don't need to speak. They just need to walk around the fort. 
the walls of the city. And then on the seventh day, they need to walk around the walls of the city seven times on the seventh day. And when they do, he said he will bring the walls down. The Israelites, having no better plan and seeing that to them, this is a task that seems impossible, have nothing to lose. So for six days, they get up and quietly march around the walls of the city. On the seventh day, they wake up extremely early in the morning and start walking those seven laps around the city. And around 9 a.m., they finish that seventh lap and they blow their trumpets and the walls come tumbling down. And the story of Jericho just got me thinking about a lot of different things. I told you guys it's had an effect on not just this story, but the book. The way I pray, in addition to just kind of alarms with this particular story here. One of the things that I've kind of lived my life on and always have said to people is God never gives us more than we can handle. And I've done some reflecting on that. And I don't believe that's 100% true because we have to have faith and God has to put certain things in front of us, events and obstacles that we as man just can't handle. And that is how he proves our faith to us and shows us how he works and how he does things. Because we, with our intelligence, with our skill, with our strength, we don't have the ability to do it. It's got to be a God thing. So yes, God, you know, God believes and puts things on us that we can handle and we can do. But there are also things that he wants and expects us to ask for help from that we can't do. That it's got to be a spiritual thing. It's got to be a miracle in our life to show us why we have faith and why we believe. So a couple weeks ago when I started this channel, I made my mission to try to help folks find your why. What's your purpose? What are you living for? Well, as an extension of that, I want you to ask yourself tonight or this afternoon or this morning, whenever you get around to watching this, if you watch it, what is your Jericho? I think we've all been faced with something like a Jericho that we don't have an answer to. That the best thing we can do is get on our knees in prayer and ask God to help us. And those are the types of prayers that I think God loves above all else, is to know that we're praying for something where he can show his mighty hand out of the routine, out of the day-to-day. -day. What is that? Sometimes it's awesome. Sometimes it's a promotion or it's an acceptance to a university or getting a job that, you know, you do all the man-made steps to get to that point, but it's out of your hands that decision is. Maybe it's something more than that. You know, it, I've been reflecting. I know for a fact the depression I've been battling is a Jericho in my life. You know, I try to wake up every day to say I'm going to have a good day or it's a good day to have a good day and to try to stay positive, but it doesn't work every day. It it's, takes more than me to get to that point. You know, we're all gonna be faced with Jerichos, whether they're goals we have 
or fears that we live with that's going to take more than us and what we can do on our own. I'm going to talk about Chad for a minute because Chad has had a lot of Jericho's in his life already and is currently still going through that. And we're constantly praying for him and the stuff that he's got to deal with. Chad was born with a soft spot on his head. And so for a couple of years early on in his life, Chad had to wear a helmet. And to correct it and fix it. And luckily it was. But we were told at that time that it may cause some long-term issues for him. And... We don't really know if that's the case or not, but he's had several issues. Last year, around this time, maybe a little later, Chad started having seizures. When he exerted himself, when he'd get tired and he was trying to play soccer, and he'd have several seizures while out at soccer practice. And... So we took him to see neurologists and basically they just diagnosed him with a seizure disorder. And luckily, since he's been on medicine, he hasn't had any, but he still can't exert himself. He hasn't been able to play any kind of organized sport since, because whenever he exerts himself, he gets sick. We still haven't found a root cause to that. Then just like any normal boy for years, Feels like he just, he doesn't listen. Wait, the ongoing joke used to be that Chad's response to any and everything was, wait, what? <laughs> when we talked to him because he wouldn't listen or he wouldn't pay attention, which ex expected of a preteen boy. Well, then he goes for his checkup and he fails his hearing test. So we take him to an audiologist and they do something a little more specific. Tell us somehow, Chad's lost 30% of his hearing. So one of the things that I'm doing a little later this week, I've got to take Chad to get a CT scan done to see if there's any structural damage inside of his ears causing it or what could be the root cause of this. But more than likely, hearing aids are already going to be in Chad's future here. And he's just 10 yeah, these are the types of things that I'm talking about. When I had cancer when I was younger, that's a Jericho. But all of this is the negative side of things. The bad Jerichos. They're good Jerichos. There are things in our life that we may not be able to see how to accomplish on our own. You know, a, a big dream of mine and Jess's at some point, we'd love to go to Disneyland out in California. You know, we, we're huge Universal folks. I told you guys we've got a trip lined up in a couple weeks for that. We're big Disney World people. We've never made the trek out to Disneyland out in California. That's on our goal list. We want to go to Hawaii. We want to go to Tokyo. Okay, we love to travel. Those are Jericho's that we'll be praying for because we don't have the answers to how those are going to happen. And they may not. You know, not all Jericho's are going to be answered. You know, look back on all the unanswered prayers that you've had in your life. Some of those have turned out for the better. But it doesn't mean that we still don't need to pray for them. Personally, I've got an MRI next week on my shoulder. Have no clue what I've done to it. It's been bothering me since about September. I'm hoping to get some answers there. Something else I'm praying for. Just to figure out what's going on. What those answers are. You know, I've absolutely loved starting this YouTube channel. Having an outlet being able to talk to people that just want to listen and hear what's going on. 
and hopefully some of what I say in these, because I think that videos like this and that second one I did, I think they'll be a staple. I think they'll be something that I do more often going forward. Maybe Jess will join me some. Um, maybe we'll do some live stuff. Uh, if that's something that y'all might enjoy that you may want to hop on and ask questions or, you know, give us a topic that we'll, we can answer or uh, talk about for you guys. In addition to showing you guys some of the stuff that we're doing on the side, like, you know, the boys playing in the snow and things like that. But I want to leave you with that tonight. What is your Jericho right now? What is the big thing that's just out of your hands that you need to focus and pray on? Feel free to comment. Share it with me so I can be in prayer with you. I'd love to help pray. Something we can all pray for. The big things that we'd like to see happen and take place. And as always, the message of this channel. What's your why? Peace.